everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, hello, hi, welcome. My name is Eve and today we're going to be going through my wardrobe. Right, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a backstory about all these clothes so you realise what I'm dealing with today. Some of these clothes I've had for about 10 years. I'm 24. So since I was 14, since I was in high school, but I've never been the one to just throw away clothes. I've always tried to fix things or I've always tried to like repurpose things and everything comes back into style. And I honestly think that if you own the idea of this kind of throw away fashion, then you should really take a step back and think about how you can repurpose your items. Um, that being said, I've got a lot of crap in this wardrobe. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I can say crap on YouTube, but basically I'm moving house. It's going into storage and I've just said we are getting rid of everything. Furniture, any furniture that's like a little bit broken or that is not something that we definitely want to keep, we're getting rid of. And do you know what? The same for my clothes. What I want is a small wardrobe and I just want a like select few amount of things um, that I'm going to keep because I wear the same things every day anyway. I don't know about you guys, right? But I only ever use this section of my wardrobe. This is the clothes that get used because they get put back in there and all of this stuff I have not touched for years absolutely years I have got two bags charity bag bin bag and we're just gonna start getting rid of stuff I know people will probably be commenting like oh you could sell that on depop and all that stuff honestly I just can't be asked. we're gonna have to move out of this house any minute and things on depop do not necessarily sell straight away so um financially don't care give it all to charity and give the money to the charity shops and that's it i also buy a lot of things from charity as well so you know it kind of does does the full circle okay right i feel a bit nervous okay i'm going to show you guys as well what is in my wardrobe because i don't know about you but like i'm proper nosy and like i want to know what's in people's wardrobe so let's start off with this denim jacket this was actually passed down to me by my auntie hazel if you're watching this thank you very much you guys can see it's sort of like a vintage style jacket definitely in the keep pile right this dress summer dress i know that you'll be like this is probably looks like something like mary and joseph would wear but um i do actually like this dress and i think it was only like a tenner but trust me, on the odd day in the UK when it's so hot and you've got nothing to wear, this is the dress and it really cinches you in at the waist. It's a little bit girly, I'm not that girly, but it has got a slit right up the leg and it is long and it comes, whoa, I'm trying to show you where three, two, what it comes like here on your leg. Um, so I'm definitely keeping that. Um, Okay, next we have got this midi dress and oh, I mean it is kind of fun, it is kind of cute. Do I like this? It is handy on holiday. See this is the problem, I've not wanted to get rid of anything. I've had this for years but do you know what I might do? I'm going to start another section of holiday clothes because there are some things that I just would never wear in the UK, but then I would wear on holiday. So this can go into a holiday, holiday section. You can go there. So we have got this black coat that has actually got dust on it because I obviously have not worn it in that long. Okay, I've directed you to the mirror, but can we please just ignore all the crap? that is that is around me because i'm moving out so i'm having a big clear out um this is actually really cute and really flattering however i've obviously not worn it in a really long time so i'm gonna give this to charity okay another one from the holiday collection i love this look at this oh I feel rich when I wear this. This was off Depop and it cost me like £10. It also has like a little tie belt as well. 100% keep. I should wear this as a dressing gown, shouldn't I? More like a little silky dressing gown. 100% keep. 
Um, so, those of you guys who don't know, I actually have got a problem with my skin, so I have to be as covered up as possible on holiday. So, something like this. This is actually cute. I like green. I will keep this. And you know what? Maybe I won't just wear it on holiday. Maybe I will find another purpose for it. Okay, so long t-shirt dress. Um, get rid. Okay, this jacket. I have like worn this once and I know people are probably going to think it's really hideous, but I think it's really cool. I feel like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, 100% keeping this. This was actually given to me by Robin, my boss. Hey, hi, if you're watching this. I do love this jacket. And I actually feel a bit sad that I haven't worn it more. Okay, so next we have this leather jacket, which was the best thing I ever bought. Oh, I've This has literally been, like, I've had this jacket since I was in school. It was £10 in a Primark sale. It's not real leather or anything like that. And as you can see, it's all the leather started to come off now. But I swear down, I must have had this for like eight years. I know everyone's like, buy real leather because it'll last longer. Ten quid has lasted me since I was in high school. And it has these. Yeah. Into the bin. It does make me sad though. But this is what I'm saying. I know everyone... I know everyone's like, oh, invest in certain pieces and stuff like that, but honestly, you can get stuff from Primark that lasts you years. Just look after your stuff. This jumper reminds me of like Monsters Inc. or something like that, and it's all open. It's like sheer, sheer netting at the back. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Well, I say get rid as well, guys. I mean, get rid to charity. So we have got this light blue fluffy skirt. This is actually a two piece and it's like a baby blue and it's really cute, but um, I never get my legs out. Um, I'm just not a leg girl, you know what I mean? I like I like crop top, so I like to have like my belly out and then my legs covered and I love funky trousers. Okay, so we've got this super cute play suit uh, charity. It's so from Primark. Now this is a little, I wanna say like, it's like a pinny dress. And it zips right the way down. And do you know what? With like a polar neck, a little pair of tights, um, a little pair of boots in the winter, it is quite cute. Um, and it is like a little bit 60s when you wear it. So I'm going to keep, keep that. Hey, get rid. So I've got this skirt that actually needs washing. It looks like it's got a bit of fake tan on it. Uh, which I'm going to keep. It is super classy. It would look nice. But I'm wearing, you can see. You can see it in the mirror, but I wear this all the time on holiday. Don't get me legs out in the UK, but on holiday, this is super cute. I need to keep my arm, my arms and my chest are super sensitive on holiday. So on holiday, I'm all covered up up here and then I let my legs out to let myself breathe a bit. So this is going the holiday pile. I feel better already. I feel liberated. Now, I do not like blazers. However, this on holiday with that black and white skirt from earlier it does look super cute and I wear a little crop top keep that a little bit sporty cute for around the house Calvin Klein crop top this again um Calvin Klein crop top this is nice but it looks a little yellow I think I might have to like put it in the I think I might have to like try some vanish or something you know it's hard being an adult and you have to do your own washing because white things just don't look white anymore and like Things don't dry properly and then it is just hard life. Off the shoulder, leotard white, super handy. Super handy to have. Can we just have a moment to say, so you see this? I have put a little safety pin here to stop my boobs being on show. Can we stop making clothes with a super low cleavage? Can we please? Because everything I try on in the shop has cleavage that comes right down here and I don't want to flush my boobs, okay? I just want to be a normal person. Black little tie, crop top. I got a couple of these in the Primark sale and they were like a pound each. And they are just so happy. This I'm glad I found. This is my Halloween costume. 
Um, I got this actually in a charity shop and it is a dress and I wore it to the Makeup Revolution Halloween party with a pair of knee high boots and every single year I'm going to wear this to work so I'm keeping that. Oh, do you guys remember this? This is my glow up top and um, this was the top I actually bought this, oh it's got lipstick on it, um, doesn't surprise me. Um, this is the top I actually bought to go on glow up um, I wanted just like a new crop top and also I wanted something to cover my arms because um, you guys will know what I'm talking about here like arms because mine are not toned and I do zero exercise they just look really like fat and I was like conscious on camera that my arms were going to look fat so I was like I need something long sleeved so I bought this this is from ASOS Collusion and I'm definitely going to keep it because I've not worn it since being on glow up um, and I had to wear it a couple of times because I didn't pack anywhere near enough clothes. <laughs> I thought I'd be gone after the week and then I was there on week, week eight, like, I've got no clothes. I'm not gonna lie, I do really like this bomber jacket, but um, I don't wear it enough, so I should probably get rid. Check there's no money in the pocket. <laughs> you ever done that? I bought something at charity shop and there's been money in the pocket, I've done that. Ooh, do you know what, I might keep that. Well, who knew it? I've got two pairs of these trousers. <laughs> Who has two pairs of these S&M looking leggings, please? They can definitely go to charity. Oh, guys, this jumper. Everyone needs a Christmas jumper. This, there's a story behind this jumper that I want to speak to you guys about. So, <laughs> I love that this is my most prized possession. We have someone who sleeps in our doorway. He's not homeless, he's houseless, and his name's Les. And he's been with us for years, and I speak to him every single day. He's brilliant, and we love him to bits, and we all get each other stuff for Christmas, and we get him, like, birthday presents and stuff like that. Like, he honestly is just a friend, and I see him every single day. And I've missed him so much, like, during this whole pandemic and with the salon being closed. We've been so worried about, you know, him and everything like that. So he's got a mobile phone. <laughs> He's got a mobile phone and he was calling me regularly. We have regular phone calls just to keep up. We honestly love him to bits. He's like family. And at Christmas, he got us all matching jumpers. I know, how sweet. So this, I will never ever get rid of and I will wear every single year and I will show him that I am wearing this. I will come into work with it and wear it. Wear it proud because it makes him happy. And also, I really like the jumper, it's cute. So this is a, another pretty little thing dress and it is the same as the grey one I showed earlier. Apart from this one makes me look like a giant condom. So, probably not going to keep... I did this thing, right, where I thought I suited nude. It just uh, blends into my skin. Like I want to be like Kim Kardashian and she just wears nude and looks so good. So I literally raided pretty little thing and bought all nude stuff. And yeah, it's still got the label on it. How much was it? I don't know how much it is, but I'm going to give this to charity because you know what, it is, it's so exciting when you get something new in a charity shop and I think this is going to make someone really happy. This jacket, there is a story behind this jacket. I got this when I was probably about 16 years old in a car boot sale, it is an actual motorcycle jacket. I can't remember how much it is, but my mum and dad bought it for me and it was a car boot. And I was young, so it can't be much. It must have been like 20 quid. Real leather. Look at that. I should wear this more often. Why do I not wear this more often? That's cool. And the best bit. Got inside pockets. Oh, only, only one inside pocket. Got inside pockets. Cool as that. Kelly actually who is my hairdresser I work in a salon by the way so she's not just like my hairdresser she's obviously my friend colleague and hairdresser she gave me this and I did wear this on glow up and I would have never picked it out myself but honestly like when I wear it I feel like Barbie going scuba diving I just love it it's full glitter it's silver I never wear anything like that and it is a bodysuit and it's high necked super flattering makes your boobs look bigger than they are you know Pull the neck makes your boobs look big if you're a small, small tit girl like me. Um, only from Primark. A lot of people ask me where I got this from when I wore it on Glow Up. 
um yeah it's a good it, it's it's a good one i like that yeah. right speaking of les les also got me this top for my birthday um because i had i had a harley davidson badge on my leather jacket and he got me this because it looked like harley davidson and I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this glows in the dark as well. Um, so again, I will be keeping this. And do you know what? I do, it's a bit mad, but I do like it. And I like it even more because he got it for me. So I'll be wearing this. Make sure I wear this a lot more. I've just been looking for that. See, you forget you have things. Jumper uh, with these like net sleeves. I actually got this from TK Maxx, right? And it did used to have these sleeves were like black with mesh over the top and then I was gonna put it in the bin and then what I did is I decided to cut out the black sleeves so it's just left with this mesh and it does look really really nice on super flattering and it's cool and I like that I kind of like DIY'd it a bit myself you know it saved it from going in the bin screaming inside jumper I also wore this on glow up and it's honestly it's just super comfy and it's a black jumper and I'm not screaming inside I'm just happy <laughs> I'm not that depressing um honey t-shirt yeah like that okay Zara green crop top I've not worn this but you know what I think I might do you think that goes with my hair I don't know who knows Keep that. I look like I'm in Romeo and Juliet or something like. No, thank you. Right, I know you're gonna think, Eve, why are you keeping this? But I just think this little shirt as a crop top is so cute. Like it's like a granny shirt, crop top with some funky pants, keep it a little vintage. I like it. I got this from charity shop. As you can probably tell because no one else thinks like that anymore okay t-shirt with all the peaches on the back showing you guys this i'm keeping this this is again something that i wore on glow up and it's from new love club and it's actually i got it um from tk maxx in the men's section i love shopping in the men's section that's where i found that top also got this shirt which again is like a vintage style shirt and i'm gonna wear it as a crop top i got that from a charity shop as well some old lady will be very happy that i'm using that old man shirt to chuck over the top of your obviously not this outfit but to chuck over the top of a crop top and it stops you from feeling so naked so get these shirts that you can just throw ooh, over the top okay another key is this doomsday top look at that beautiful design on the back i only just got this for christmas and i can't remember how much it was but it wasn't that cheap but it i mean it wasn't that expensive but definitely worth it keep that got a little crop top gucci crop top keep that orange jumper i'll keep that why not Okay, chiffony top that can go to charity. Oh my god, guys, look at my bag. <sighs> I feel like I'm posing for the thumbnail. We're doing well. We are doing well. Get rid of stuff. Whoa, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is when, do you remember, this is inside out. Do you remember when everyone like wears these skin tight cat suits? I mean, why would I want to look like I'm walking around naked? Why would I ever buy this? Charity shop. It's all that Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian. You, they wear things and you think, oh, I'll look good. And then you don't look good in them. I love these and I've had these for the longest amount of time. So they are sheer trousers and they are massive flares, but they are striped. And they are just perfect in the summer with a little black crop top um so flattering i mean eat my waist just looks small just holding them up ah! don't break so keep that for holiday i 
I don't even know what this is. That is not a dress. That is not a dress. Oh my god, I would look like a hooker. Look how short that is. I need to charity for some actual hooker to buy. Leather skirt. I mean, a girl's got to own at least one skirt. <laughs> so that's my one skirt. This cute little summer two piece. Um, it is a skirt and a top. And you know what? It is nice, but at the same time, it's too girly. It's too floral. It's too girly. It's not really me. Another tartan skirt because, you know, if you have one tartan, tartan skirt that you doesn't fit you and you can't wear, you should buy two. You know? See-through jacket. Um, I have had this since I was like 14. I got it from H&M and I wore it on Glow Up and I think it's still pretty cool. This dress, which I have never worn because I don't fit in it. Um, it, is, it is nice. It's only from pretty little thing and it is this satin tie dress so you can see what it would look like there but it doesn't fit me but it's got these really nice gold details and one day I want to fit into it leopard print bomber but well, it's not a bomber This was just from Primark, you know, and I think it's like a little bit tacky, but I kind of like that. Bomber jacket with a tiger on the back. Super tacky, but I love it. Love it. Pizza t-shirt. I have two of these. These are from Emma Warren Designs and she's an independent person. <laughs> She's an independent woman. She's an independent business. So would love it if you can check her out. I absolutely love this. And I wore this on Glow Up. This is my favourite t-shirt that I own. Playing back t-shirt. Can't go wrong. Another chavy, tacky bodysuit. I like that. This jacket I had on my stories the other day. And a lot of people liked it it's a silk bomber jacket i got it from primark years ago and i barely ever worn it but like a lot of people thought it was designer let's <laughs> see but you see love it love a bit of pattern you know do you know what i just love things that are a little bit hideous or maybe just borderline hideous where you don't know if you really like something or if it's horrible that's like the kind of thing okay. This was actually a white jumper, which I loved because the quality was so good. But honestly, I just can't wear white because it just gets filthy. Um, so I dyed this black and literally it did like this tie dye thing on its own and it didn't dye the red sleeves. And so this is actually from Menace. So it's misguided men's section. And I just think it's so cool and it's unique because no one else has got them. So like, honestly, if you have clothes that you would like another color, Try and dye them. My jacket. Everyone wants to know where this is from. I got this off Depop, but originally it's from Boohoo, and they do sell very similar things. I just love the fit of it. I love the way it's got that kind of vintage crop to it, and I've got the matching pants. I literally look like something off the mask. Listen, I love a good two-piece and I know that this is lime green and it is so in your face, but at the same time, I just think it's cool. Yes. Everyone's so much fun. So like I said, boohoo. They do not sell this, these exact items, but they definitely sell things that are similar. The only problem is with these pants is actually the zip has broken and I am going to replace the zip on them. They're a little bit tight as well, I'm not gonna lie, but. Oh my God. Like, let me just take the camera off and I just wanna show you guys the mess. This is the mess 
in my room at the moment. That's my charity bag. That is my bin bag. So very few things that are going in the bin, which is what I like, nothing going to waste. And then this is my keep pile. So what I'm gonna do is I've got all trousers in this drawer. So I'm gonna put all this back in my wardrobe and then we're gonna go through that and we are done. Okay, everything is back in my wardrobe, top and bottom, this bottom bit is really empty because I'm, I've put basically all my top half stuff here and bottom half stuff here. So I feel amazing. We're now gonna go on to trousers. I like my funky trousers. So we're gonna have to go through these. This is probably bigger than my entire, my entire wardrobe. So let's just get a start. So we've got a yellow army combat pants. Um, kind of hideous, really tacky and cheap. You know what that means, don't you? You know what that means? We're gonna keep them. My Halloween pants. Black and white striped jeans. I do love these. The only thing that I don't love about them is they finish at the ankle. Another what thing? Stop making things so low and stop making everything stop at the ankle. Okay, I do not have ankles that I want to show off. My ankles are probably the fattest bit of my body. And I have small feet. I have basically big legs and small feet. So it's just like two chunks that just go down like that when then these little, these little feet there. I do not want to show off my ankle. My ankles are not skinny. All it does is reveal that my legs are bigger than the average person. So as much as I love these, I am going to give these away to charity. Mom jeans. Calvin Klein light denim. I just want to say I got these from a charity shop for £10 and they had the label still on and they're Calvin Klein. I know. So these are a little bit tight for me but I'm hoping to fit back into them one day. Jazzy pants! MC Hammer Fresh Prince of Bel-Air pants. I love these. They are shell suit material. They are 80s. They are tacky. They are hideous. And they are everything that I love in an outfit. They're probably clown pants. Um, I got these from ASOS Collusion. I did wear these on Glow Up as well. And they're just pretty cool pants. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we have got blue and pink neon um, running pants from that one time I did exercise. And you know, maybe in a couple of years' time I'll choose to do exercise again, so I'll keep hold of them. High-waisted, granddaddy-style trousers. Um, honestly, I just like these with like a pair of like Timberlands or something like that, and they are super comfy and super flattering. So like these are what, you know like normal people, not normal, I am normal, <laughs> I'm so normal. Um, some people just whack on jeans, these are like my jeans. So I very, very rarely wear jeans. I like to have a fun pant. So these are like my comfy whack -em on kind of pants. I've got a couple of these. So these are full length. When it is summer and I'm feeling super summery, I wear these, which are slightly cropped at the bottom. So you know, I've got like my winter pants, summer pants. This is about as summery as I get. <laughs> I love trousers. I got these right recently for five pounds. They are high waisted, and do you know what I love about these? They're vintage. I got them in a vintage style. Look at that like snake print fabric. Um, they are nice and loose on the legs, and then tight on the waist. Now, the issue that I have is like I'm size twelve in leg. But obviously my stomach is more like a size like 10 or 8 because I come in at the waist. So like the things that I have to buy, I always have to buy in like a size 12 or 14. And then I have to take in the waist because otherwise they just don't fit my legs. But these, especially with them being vintage, I feel like you sometimes just get a better fit. Um, these are nice and loose on the legs. Well, they're like not loose. They're just, they're normal on the legs. And they come into a small waist and they just fit like a glove. Okay, prepare for the world's best pants that I've ever bought. Well, almost. These are like the comfiest pants. Comfiest best pants I've ever bought. Okay, these. Got them when I was like 14. And they are velvet floral, but they're like a dark floral. So they're like a little bit like 
cooler they're not like a girly floral elastic waistband and these are from the rihanna collection when she brought out her first ever collection with river island you can get a matching crop top which i might have a look on depop for actually these pants wow god i wear these all the time they feel like pajamas and i wear them every single day when i just don't even want to get dressed you know when you you can't even be asked getting dressed to go to work these are them and i get so many compliments on them everyone wants to know where they are from and honestly they were the best things i've ever bought they were like 20 quid and what is great is because of the pattern as well like i've got makeup on these i've got stains on these and you just can't tell and they just it's the gift that keeps on giving my favorite pair of pants and best like 20 quid i've ever spent so these pants i wore on glow up a lot of people want to know where they're from i actually got them on depop i paid three pounds three pounds for these pants this is the brand i don't even know what the brand is dis dis dismero there you go you can have a little look there i don't think it's a, a british brand so it's not something that we have over here and um, some of you guys if you i don't know it kind of maybe it's like spanish or something or like have it in the rest of europe so these and then i roll up the bottoms are these especially these with a crop top these are so cool. I am going to like Google this brand and try and see if they have any more pants like this. Um, but three quid. Ah! Guys, this, this, these pants you need to buy. Not these specific ones, but in general. Right, these are like leggings, but flares. So I always put like a pair of le black leggings on underneath and then put these on because it makes them look tighter and they're obviously like a thin cheap material and it makes them just look so much better quality and you know then they might be see-through so if you've got black leggings on that's brilliant and they're also it makes it warmer so yeah these are so comfy and i brought bought some more in this style on my plt haul which will be up soon these are just from boohoo these are size 12 which I like because they're super stretchy and they're still sort of tight on your leg and they kind of like hug your legs. They're very flattering and they just look a little bit cooler, but they are more comfy. They're like, they're like, it's like wearing leggings, but not looking like you're wearing leggings. Are the most expensive trousers I've ever bought and they're worth every single penny. These are my Moschino jeans, vintage Moschino jeans. They were £120, which I think is an absolute bargain for what they are i got them off depop and they actually were they weren't flares they were like boot cut which was not cute so i got them tailored for me as well so i got them taken in at the waist obviously because i'm a bit of a funny size um and then i got rid of the boot cuttiness and i now i just roll them up so i kept them nice and long and then just roll them up and then you got these really cool pair of pants and these are my favorite pair of pants and i wear them all the time <sighs> do you want to see my wardrobe should i take you in <laughs> this is literally all my clothes now the only other things i have are like my pajamas and my tracky pants which i've already gone through so obviously i have got two hauls coming so it's going to be filled back up with clothes but it's going to be filled up with clothes that are my style and my new style obviously at the age of 24 my style is slightly different from when i was 14 so <laughs> So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Zoom in a little bit closer. Hello. Oh, he is very blurry. Can you see me here? Hello. Okay. Uh. <laughs> in the bin. Yes. If anyone's like, what are you doing? I was confused because this looks like what I'm wearing. And I was like really confused. I was like, I thought I had this on. I didn't realize I had two. Hangers coming from everywhere. We're recording, yeah. <laughs>